Hello guys, welcome back to the channel to Bros Show's Math Tutoring and Tips. So as you can see, DKLM and PTRS are shown. So here's a similarity statement, this will be useful. So that is similar to that. So let's start mark it up with MD equals 20. DK equals 6Z plus 6. KL equals 8W plus 1. LM is 40. PT is 12. And TR is 4W minus 2, right? Okay. And RS is 16. Okay. So, first question, what is W equal? So, let's, so you got to find two things that have W to put it equal to. But first, see these shapes are different sizes. So, that means those lengths will be different. So, you can't really put them equal to it. So, we got to find the scale factor, which is K. So, let's go to the bigger one. Let's just say the small one, like, went to the big one. So let's find a number with the normal number. Let's go with MD, which is 20. Let's put it over a fraction to find the factor. So MD is corresponds. Let's go look at this statement. MD would be SP. So we don't actually have an SP, so we're going to have to go with ML. So undo those. ML is 40. And it goes with SR. SR is 16. So you put, you can do it either way, but I'm putting the bigger number over the smaller number, which is the lengths are the same. So the smaller shape went and dilated to the bigger. So now I can find the scale factor from that 40 divided by 16 is 2.5 so our scale factor is 2.5 let's change that now that we have our scale factor we need to find W so find equation with W let's do this so the smaller one which is 4W minus 2 let's put in the equation 4W minus 2 and that is TR TR corresponds with KL, so this is okay. So both of these are corresponding. But we can't put them equal to because obviously these are not equal to. So we got to times it by the scale factor. So for this small one to go to the bigger one, it's got to be by the scale factor we found, which was 2.5. So put 2.5 around the parentheses like that. Now you can put it equal to 8W plus 1. So now let's put everything together. 2.5 times 4, 10 W, 2.5 times negative 2, negative 5, then rewrite it, rewrite everything, now I have this, mm, you could probably put this, plus 6 now, and minus this, goes to 2 W, so now we have 2 W equals 6, 6 divided by 2, so W equals 3. So we got our first. Wait. Can I zoom in? Okay. So W equals 3. Now let's find Z. So let's, let's make it easiest. So the Z, this one. Let me delete everything. So I haven't used notability in almost a year. All right. So Z. DK goes with PT, which is right here. But before we do that, obviously these aren't the same length, so it can't actually be equal. So 12X needs to be with the scale factor to be equal. 
So that's just 12, I mean. So 12 times the scale factor would be 30 just to make it equal. So 30, and then we have dk, which is 6z plus 6. We're trying to find z now. Let's solve this. 30 minus 6 is 24. Divided by 6, z equals 4. Now we need to find dk. It's a little bit blurry, but it's okay. So dk is right here. Since good thing we already found z, which is 4. 6 times 4 plus 6, 30. So we have 30. SP is right here. Well, look, we don't have a thing for SP, so we're going to have to think about it. So SP, let's see if the other ones have another. So SP goes with MD which is right here. So if we connect it down, it would not actually equal 20 because remember it was dilated. So to get this 20 over here, we do 20. Our scale factor is 2.5, but this time we're going to the smaller shape. So we're going to divide by the 2.5. So this would actually be eight now. So SP is eight, TR. Right here, we found W already, which is 3. 4 times 3 minus 2, which is 10, TR. All right, so it looks like someone didn't make this white. So let's just do that. You didn't see that. OK, so what is the perimeter of DKLM, this whole thing from the perimeter of it? So we found dk, which is 30. So we have 30. Then the, the next one, what is that? All right, kl. We can, we can just add this. We have 20 now. Then add this one, 40. 5 plus 4. OK, we have 90 so far. We need to find kl, because the perimeter is all around the shape. We found W already, so that is pretty good. Times 8 plus 1, 25. Let's add all of them together, which is 11. So our perimeter would be 115. Thank you guys for watching.